What is up everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary, but this time it's a run through of the map that we just received for our compensation for such a horrible launch for the Master Chief Collection. We have the remake of Relic named Remnant. So right now, so what I'm going to do in this video is just kind of show you guys all like, where the weapons spawn, different locations and things like that. Just run through it so you guys see what it looks like. And there's actually a new power up on the map that was not on it before and I'm actually going to show you right about now. So you can see this is what the map looks like now. A lot, a lot better. 343 certainly did a good job of remaking this map. It looks fantastic. Uh, I walked around this map before and there were really no, there was no frame drops or anything like that. It was, uh, it just ran smoothly. So you can see we get the, uh, you know, we got the Warthog, we get a Mongoose which I believe it should be the turret goose mongoose if I remember correctly. Yep, that's the one right there. So you get that kind of mongoose, so that's pretty sweet. Um, two magnums over here, some grenades. Yeah, different kind of jumping area you can get up here. Nice little sniper spot you can get over. Look over there, basically the entire map and you know, snipe some guys if you have a sniper rifle on you at the moment. But without further ado, let's jump into it and show you guys the new power up right here. This crazy little dude right here. This guy is a speed boost power up. So basically, you're going to be getting, I think, I believe it's about, it feels like about a 50% increase to the uh, walk, to the run speed, and I'll show you right now. Speed boost. So yeah, pretty damn fast. Like you can strafe left and right pretty quick. There is a bit of a kind of like a uh, sliding wobble when you try to go left and right. So. It, does, it kind of has like a general build up to the max speed. It doesn't just instantly give you max speed as soon as you're running. Oh look, we got a suppressed SMG right here. And go over here. You can see another suppressed SMG. So we got some new weapons on the map now, which is pretty cool. Right here, this is actually pretty rather different from the previous uh, Relic. Where this was a, like a Covenant Sniper perch that you would need to teleport up onto. And uh, there was like a ring in the middle, so you couldn't really like move around a lot. That was it was like a high advantage, but a disadvantage for like movement and cover. But they gave you a lot more cover right here, a place to move around and stuff like that. But you still got to take the teleporter up, so you know, kind of keep it keeping it classy, I guess. Some more magnums right there, coming around here. So again, the, the map just looks fan freaking tastic. Here's a Covenant carbine, and uh, where else are we going? We got a plasma rifle right here. And if you guys want to know where the sword spawns, it spawns right underneath, in the middle, right here, every time. All right, let's come around. Some plasma grenades, carbine, a needler. You get the plasma rifle again, right there. And there's suppressed SMG. Now each side of the relic here does have a lift. Now there are that you can't take. There was no ramp anymore up to the uh, up to here on the remastered, at least on the remastered rem remnant. Uh, version of the map But I have a feeling I haven't checked out the other ma versions of the map as well But uh, I'm assuming that probably about the same so that you have to take these Lifts up to here to where you would take like the bomb or the flag or anything like that the one-sided uh, Objective game modes usually the objectives are right around here And let's continue on through So yeah, it's pretty interesting. They added in the, uh, the speed boost. You got a needler right here. Um, I was looking around the other side of the map here to see if there was um, any other kind of power up to kind of counter that power up in that location because it heavily, obviously, you know, favors the blue team. Um, but uh, I could not find one, so I'm assuming that there isn't one, which is kind of crappy. Though, um, on this side of the map, like over behind this rock, it's where the rocket launcher spawns. I'll show you in a bit here. As you can see down here, this is where you can actually activate this little area right here. Hold B, you activate that, opens up a teleporter right here, you walk through, and boom. You're on the other side of the map, how freaking crazy is that? Pretty damn crazy if you ask me. And again, they're spawned up right there, so I'm guessing it feel, feels like it's about a three minute timer on that uh, pick pickup, so that's pretty nice. Shotgun right there, that's nice to know. Uh, what's this one? We got another battle rifle. Walk around like look at look how fantastic this map looks. It did three four three did a great job of making this look nice. At least whoever three four three hired to make it look nice, you know. But I'm not quite sure who actually worked on the map here. But uh, I guess credit goes to three four three. And here's the rocket launcher. Very important to know. 
Uh, you'll see this map, guys. I believe this map will come up in the big team battle playlist. And so they're going to get some vehicles and stuff like that running around. They're going to need that rocket launcher. But yeah, look at that. Look at that skybox, man. That is something. Hey, look at that. There's even lightning. It's like, it's crazy, man. But yeah, I think also on this other side of the map, here there is a ghost. The ghost is still here. Uh, we got the suppressed SMG. Suppressed SMG. Yeah, pretty much the same thing from uh, from ha good old Halo 2 days, but in this time, it's all fancy graphic style of carbine right there. Now there is a, um, what, a binary rifle, yeah, right over here. Not binary rifle, but the, um, they call it, like, freaking beam rifle. Yes, the beam rifle spawns right here. Pick that bad boy up. You know, freaking, oh, throw a grenade. You can just, you know, one-shot guys across the map easily. No big deal. But yeah, guys, that is, uh, that's Remnant in a nutshell. Um, also, the, seems like the fall-off area, on, at least on that side of the map, for the Out of Bounds, is still pretty short like it used to be on like it is on relic so keep that in mind um <laughs> i remember back in the halo 2 days oh yeah here's a sniper rifle by by the way right here by the blue spawn and so an easy troll to do that i saw plenty of people do as everybody jumps into the warhog you're like all right let's cause some havoc guys let's do this and they just jump right off the map and you're dead <laughs> So all you zany trolls, now you know exactly what to do every time the map starts out. Don't worry, I'm sure you guys all knew about that. It's a really weird fading effect on the water, but oh well. Anyways guys, that is Relic in a nutshell. Or I should say Remnant in a nutshell. If you guys want to see other map run-throughs of anything else in Halo, please leave a comment down below. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more about like good positions as well like jump spots and stuff like that please you know let me know I need you know you guys are interactive this is what YouTube is so you interact with your audience and so if I don't know what you guys want I can't give you guys what you need it's a loud ass fusion oh yeah look at that that's new right there that's pretty cool if you shoot that hmm nothing <laughs> if we throw a grenade up in it nothing fine <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the run the walkthrough of the map. Thank you so much for watching, and I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out!